there. We're down in the basement now. Because just, just in case you couldn't ascertain that. Well, uh, if you didn't, if if uh, am I even on this thing? Jeez. It looks good in the viewfinder when I line it up, but now hey, yeah, that looks good now. What was I going on about? Hmm. I know I could stop the film now and rewinding, but I enjoy this much better. Ah. Was it something here? Nope. Uh, the red wine, uh, the maple syrup, the cure, Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, Jim Beam, yeah, I think. Okay, what I called you down here for is going to take a while. I hear Dave. Anyway, I need some char cloth, so I got some. And some charred uh, wood. Punkwood here? Or. Oh, this is uh, Amadou, which is the horse hoof. Horse hoof. Fungus. And it's been dried out and charred. Works very well, just like uh, Chaga. Uh, this is some charred punkwood. This is a whole bunch of charred something or other. I think it started out as charred. Uh, <laughs> Uh, brown paper bags. That could be it. And some more here. So, uh, let's see. I right, got some right here on the, the old deck. Yes. So those are cotton pads. These are uh, face gloss or dish rags. Nice and. Uh, these ones are nice and uh, stringy. Now what I should do... What I should do is go sit down somewhere. Okay, I'm not going to rest around too much, but I'm going to test to see if it works. Like it's supposed to, and it does. Let's put everything that's going to burn here. Uh, What I'm going to try to do in this little envelope here is some uh, balsam fir sap that I got out by uh, taking, uh, you know, popping those blisters. I'm going to try to smear some on. Oh, I don't need any of the blisters themselves. I almost performed my experiment without even trying to. What I'm going to do is try to get some of this liquidy stuff. That's in the corners. So, what if you got flint and steel, but you don't have any tinder material for a grass house? No. Bird house? Bird's nest. So, could you smear the birch, uh, uh, the fur resin on a piece of char cloth, and then blow that char cloth, or blow, uh, blow what? Blow a piece of fat wood. Here to the other side of hell, that's what I don't know. Like a match. Oh, Jesus. So, this is the piece of fat wood. This is actually a piece of little wood with balsam fur on the end, so it might work just as well. So, uh, what the hell am I doing? Okay, no problem. Put 
some of those. Those might lighten fire too. These are the uh, blisters themselves, like the piece of the bark that's on top of the blisters, as you would say. So, let's give this a go. I know I got a flint and steel here somewhere. Another there? No. Is in here? No. Look what's over here though, wine. Hmm. And maple goodness. Okay, I may have found it. I got a couple of steels in the old, uh, should I say, bench. This is one that is very nice. This is not a cheap one, but it's a basic one from uh, the Marker quality TDC, which is what cash manufacturer TDC, which is what is what known throughout the muzzle loading world. TDC, oh, okay. Website is TDC. MFG, all in capitals, dot com. www.tdcmfg.com. Anyway, like this one is a uh, curly coo, curly kind of thing. And I also saw these. These are a bit cheaper. I only have these left. All right. All right there. This one here. This might get this flint off a lot. Well, you're supposed to look like this. Or like this. You think this way. <clears throat> no, that doesn't flex at all. Oh, let's try it both ways. Hey? <laughs> one spark, one tiny little spark I made and it landed on the thing. So, uh, can you like? Okay, starting to run out of there. Look at that black smoke coming out of there. I hope that camera's on. So that's how to get a flame when you only have, what do you have? You have char cloth, flint and steel, and access to uh, balsam fir trees. I'll have to do this experiment over and over. And if you did find fat wood too, then you got this. Works as a perfect match to uh, set your rest of your stuff on fire. This will probably burn uh, for days. Well, okay, which, Jesus, call the fire department, you stay there, all right, you, so I hope you all seen what I did there, I smeared half of the, uh, 
just to recap. And there it's out, but it stayed lit fairly long. If you had more stuff, you could probably get it going. Well, I couldn't light the uh, fat one on fire. What was I going on about? Oh, to recap, uh, tar cloth, smear about half of it with uh, balsam fir sap. There's still some left in there. I, if I can get it out there efficiently. And include the, uh, the blisters skins themselves. Fold it over. Get a spark with either... Uh, Fit and steel, or a ferro rod, or a bic lighter that's empty that just makes sparks. They tell me you can start. I should do that next. I should do that next. Yeah. Anyway, would that make a big difference? Like in the winter time, it's hard to find bird nest material unless they have birch bark. Everything else could be under the snow, all the, the uh, dead grasses and stuff like that, that you usually use maybe for a bird's nest. I guess you can get away... I guess you can get away, you know, if you got balsam fir, then you probably have those little tiny little branches that you could blow into a flame. Anyway, it's just interesting that it worked. Like I say, I don't know uh, if it'll work ever again. I don't have any more of the, uh, well, maybe you don't need them. Are you trying to tell me what to do? Yeah, just do it. <laughs>